if this angle is 75 degrees, then this angle here is 15 degrees, and that means that the sine of 75 degrees is equal to the cosine of 15 degrees. But in earlier video, we showed that the cosine of 15 degrees is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4, and now the sine of 75 degrees is equal to the cosine of 90 degrees minus 75 degrees, which is equal to the cosine of 15 degrees, and that is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4. But if we didn't know the cosine of 15 degrees, what could we do? Note that 75 degrees is equal to 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. And we know the sine and the cosine of 45 degrees and of 30 degrees. How can we use that to find the sine of 75 degrees? Well, for that purpose, we'll derive the formula for the sine of alpha plus beta. So, these are angles alpha and beta, and if we denote the y-coordinate of m2 as y m2, then the sine of alpha plus beta is equal to y m2. And we want to find the expression for y m2 in terms of sines and cosines of alpha and beta. The way we'll do it is as follows. We'll denote by q the point on O m1 so that m2 q is perpendicular to O m1. Now, O q is equal to the cosine of beta and m2 q is equal to the sine of beta. And if we denote the y coordinate of point Q by yq, Okay, so this isn't exactly parallel to the x-axis, but we'll pretend that it is, and then we can say that yq is equal to the sine of alpha times oq. But oq is equal to the cosine of beta, which means that yq is equal to the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta. Now we only need to find ym2 minus yq, and we'll first draw a vertical line through m2, And this angle here is equal to alpha. So this angle between the vertical line and M2Q is equal to alpha, and I leave it to you to show that. But that means that YM2 minus YQ is equal to the cosine of alpha times m2 q. But m2 q is equal to the sine of beta, so 
y m2 minus y cube is equal to the cosine of alpha times the sine of beta. And now we can say that the sine of alpha plus beta is equal to y m2. And that is equal to y q plus y m2 minus y q. But that is equal to the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta. plus the cosine of alpha times the sine of beta. If we go back to our initial problem, which was to calculate the sine of 75 degrees, then the sine of 75 degrees is equal to the sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. And that is now equal to the sine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees plus the cosine of 45 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. And that is equal to the square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 3 over 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2 times 1 over 2. And that is equal to the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4. We started by asking what is the sine of 75 degrees. We then saw that we can use the cosine of 15 degrees that we know from an earlier video. However, if we don't know that, we can use that 75 degrees is equal to 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. That was the motivation to derive the formula for the sine of alpha plus beta. The sine of alpha plus beta was the y-coordinate of our point M2. And to express it in terms of sines and cosines of alpha and beta, we looked at the point Q on the line OM1 so that m2q was perpendicular to om1. Then we showed that yq is equal to the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta, and ym2 minus yq is equal to the cosine of alpha times the sine of beta. Adding those two gave us the formula for the sine of alpha plus beta. Finally, we use that formula to calculate the sine of 75 degrees. In a similar way, we can obtain the formula for the cosine of alpha plus beta. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. What is the formula for the cosine of alpha plus beta? That is all for this video. If you liked it, click the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.